welcome back to my channel I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be showing you how I re-moisten my hair. My last video I was showing you how I do my weekly routine and I did mention that I re-moisten my hair during the week and this is what I'm doing here for you today. I've already done one side, it's nice and moisturised and I've borrowed one of my daughter's bubbles just to weigh my hair down and keep it stretched whilst it's drying. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. As you can see midweek my hair gets pretty dry and I don't like to manipulate it too much when it's this dry because it tends to, to snap. And no guys, I'm not sponsored by this company but I just really like this product. I'm going to be using my As I Am spray and I'm going to do my hair in sections. As I explained in my last video, I have low porosity hair but my hair does need to be spritzed quite a bit before the product seeps in, especially if the water is not warm already. So warm water opens the cuticles of low porosity hair, allowing moisture and product to seep into the strands. And somebody asked me about the nape, how to grow their nape. Now, as you can see, I've got these tiny little short bits. And the reason why they're so short is because I used to shave these bits off at the back. I thought I'm just going to embrace them now. I'm going to let them grow. So that's what I've been doing. So as you can see on this side, I don't know if you can see that, I've actually curled it up. But I've moisturized, I've sprayed it and I've put a leave-in on the back. But these parts, guys, were actually the nape of my hair that just did not seem to grow. And as you can see, I've grown the nape to quite an extent. They're not as thick as the rest of my hair, but they're healthy. <laughs> so now my hair is fully saturated from the roots. I'm now going to take my cream of nature. So I'm just gonna smooth this in as my leave-in. My hair is coated, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna twist this up and keep it out of the way until I'm ready for this section. Okay, I'm not going to seal it with anything because this is quite thick. This is actually good enough for a sealant. Dare I say it. Midweek sealant. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this section. I have got gel in my hair and I did have the leave-in mixed in with the gel which started to cause that white ball in. But I think the water reduces that a bit. Also, another thing I did guys, I added some tea tree oil to this. Just because, just because I like the benefits of the tea tree oil and it's antibacterial. So if I am wearing my hair damp, I just took out of my hair my bun that I've been wearing for a couple of days and it was still actually quite damp at the back. Now obviously damp can breed fungus and obviously you don't want fungus on my scalp. Especially if I'm wearing my hair in a style that I'm hoping to leave for the week. The antibacterial properties in the tea tree oil will take care of that. Now someone asked me last time why I wasn't using a wide tooth comb. It was simply because I just couldn't find it. I'm actually using this one at the moment. I've got to go searching for my hair products because for one, my kids move them, both of them. <laughs> and also I've got a few stashes where I can, where, where my product could possibly be, <laughs> my products and tools. So as I comb through any more parts that I feel could do with a bit more moisture, I'll just go ahead and do that and make sure you get your ends. Right, and I'm going to put the leave-in milk on. So guys, you want to coat your hair from roots to tips. Just comb that through so the product is distributed evenly. Right, so now I'm going to take this back section out and I'm going to comb them in together. Brush my hair. As you can see guys, I've got some white balling on there. My hair dries. In general, you can't see that balling. If I was to wear my hair in a wash and go, then it would be a lot harder to disguise, but as my hair's just back, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, so I'm just gonna plait my hair. So this section has my nape in there, if you can see, oops, see these little bits here. So this back section has my nape in. My nape in has <laughs> my nape. Again guys, as I mentioned in my last video, I don't like my hair to look all perfect. I like it to look like I haven't tried too much. Because I am not perfect and neither is this hairstyle, okay? Okay, so now my hair's plait. I'm going to put in my hair bubble. I 
highly doubt I'll be wearing these hair bubbles out. <laughs> it's just, it's just to keep my hair stretched overnight. But that is pretty much it, guys. There's not really much more to show you. My hair will most probably, I most probably will leave it like this because I don't want to manipulate my hair too much during the week, and I don't want to have my, I just don't want to have my hands in my hair the whole time. <laughs> so I think I'm going to leave it like this for the week until it is time for wash day, where I shall be straightening my hair with hair grease. I've got a previous video on it, but this one's updated. My hair's a little bit longer. I'm excited. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.